This is my list for top five breeds for guarding and protection. Let's see if your dog or your favorite breed made the list. This is about personal protection. This is not property protection. This is not flock protection. This is in home protection. Now here's the criteria for this list. I've thought about this. Okay. Thought about this a lot. Here's the criteria. They have to have a certain look. Okay. They have to have some impulse control and they have to be a popular breed. So let's talk about the first one. They have to have a certain look. They have to have a certain size. A bull terrier is a good guarding dog. They're also 40 pounds, okay? They have to have the size. They also have to have a look about them. Every dog on this list has a look about them. The main thing about home protection or personal protection is if the dog isn't even aggressive or if a intruder or a stranger doesn't know if the dog will bite them, they're not testing it because that dog looks like it can bite really hard and it'll bite you. That's what the person needs to know. If someone's casing your house, and they see that dog, they go, I'm not going in that house. Look at that freaking dog. That dog looks super mean or looks super mean, right? The, 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 the characteristics, the, the body type, the ears, the colors looks scary. Okay, they have to have the look. That's the main thing about protection, but that's not the only thing, impulse control. The best, if, if this wasn't a category, then you would say, I'm gonna get a Newfie 150 pound dog male Newfie and I'm gonna train him to rip everyone's head off who comes in my house, right? That'd be the best protection, but they can't bite everyone that comes in their house. The dog has to be able to discriminate good from bad. And that's a tough one. And that's why it's my second criteria. And third is a popular breed. It can't be a random European breed that no one's ever heard of. Um, I have breed books that I used to look at all the time. I was, I'm super into breeds and whatnot. There's a dog called a Busseron. I, I hope I'm saying that right. They're a cool looking dog. They're like a French guarding dog. They kind of look like a, a Doberman colors with like a German Shepherd longer hair. And they're a cool looking dog. I've also don't think I've, I think I've seen two in my life. Maybe a few more than that. I like them. They don't make the list because no one knows who they are. Okay, I, th I hope I'm saying that right. You French people. You might get mad at me for saying that wrong. All right, here's the list. You ready? We're going to go five to one. Then I'll tell you some honorable mentions. Number five, you guys might be mad about this, that they're not one, two, three, or four. Number five is a German Shepherd. Okay, he's on the list. They're on the list. That's good. Why number five? I don't think German Shepherds have the look anymore. If you compare them to my next four, they just don't have the same look. I'm sorry, German Shepherd people. Um, they just do not have the same look as my other four. My other four you look at and you're, you're scared. Okay. Um, German Shepherds, not so much anymore. There's also like temperament issues with German Shepherds. I've trained obviously so many German Shepherds. They have a lot of like neurotic behaviors, right? Partly they're, they're really focused on their owners, which is good. That's good for the list, right? They have to be able to protect their owner. And that's a plus for them. That's why they make the list. But there's just something, I don't know if it's going on in the breeding or whatever. I mean, they've obviously been bred for so many years, but they just, they just don't quite have the temperament that I would want for just a dog to stand there and be what you want a guarding breed to be. They're popular. That's another reason they made the list. Super popular. All right. Number five, German Shepherd. Number four is an Akita. There's something about the way an Akita looks. They, they, if you look at them, they don't look, they look scary, but I'm not sure why they look scary. I think it's their attitude more than their look. When you see an Akita, you're like, if that dog doesn't like me, that dog's going to bite me. They don't, they're big. They don't look mean in the same way some of the other dogs on this list look mean. There's just their vibe. They ain't messing around. And you know that when you see an Akita or you see a Malmute. Okay, but in Akita, there's more of a personal guarding aspect than a Malmute. Okay, Malmutes didn't make the list. But, so the Akita, a um, little, little less on the impulse control, right? They'll, they'll bite your friend coming over. Not every Akita, Akita people, but 
And they're, they're, there's some that are just awesome, right? There's some dogs in this group, by the way, that are awesome and you're gonna say, well, oh my gosh, that dog made the list. I knew this one that was horrible at guarding. Yeah, I know. Uh, there, there, there's a lot of these dogs in the world and they're gonna have good and bad ones. But Akitas, I love Akitas. I, I, I don't know if we almost got an Akita, but if I had a place where they could just be outside more, cruising more, just be a little more outside, I would totally get an Akita. That'd be my, not exclusively outside dog, but a dog that just was outside a little more. That's just not the setup that we have at the facility. All right, Akitas, I love them. Popular, they're on the lower end of popularity, but popular enough to make this list. All right, that's number four. Number three, Cane Corso. They got the look. They definitely have the look, okay? Um, they've got the size. Do they have the impulse control? Yeah, I know they don't just bite a lot of people. Pretty protective of their owners too, okay? Good at that, good at protective of their owners. You know, impulse control, that's iffy. Popularity, they're getting popular. I, they're, I think there's a boom right now in popularity of Cane Corsos. There's a lot of them. Um, and there's this one channel on YouTube, uh, but they, she has a great channel with her Cane Corsos. And people have referred to Prince and those dogs as being like the only dogs on YouTube that will like correct other dogs, or my old Bosco, my old dog Bosco. So, Cane Corso is number three. Number two, you guessed it, Dobermans. Dober, if you see a 100 pound Doberman, that is the most intimidating dog there is. I don't care who you are. 100 pound Doberman compared to 100 pound Nikita, compared to 100 pound German Shepherd, 100 pound Connie Corso. By the way, none of these dogs should really be 100 pounds, except my number one dog can get up Akitas. German Shepherds, Connie Corsos, Dobermans should not be 100 pounds, but they're out there. I didn't get a 100 pound Doberman because I want my dog to live a long time. But a 100 pound Doberman, their heads are about that long. That nose is about that long. And you're like, if that dog gets me with those canines at the end of that long nose, it's gonna hurt bad. And Dobermans bite hard. All dogs bite hard. Dobermans bite a little harder. There's something about them. It's in their name, pincer, okay? That's something about ger in German that's something to do with bite. They put bite in that dog. They put bite in a lot of dogs. That's why they put terriers in a lot of dogs. So Doberman has the look, has the impulse control. Dobermans are the greatest. Dobermans are like the nicest dogs ever. Like 50 years ago, they were bad. They fixed the breeding. Now they're nice. That's how, that's how these things go. These cycles go. And then you'll see dogs go through bad breeding and then they have years of, of not being good. All right, impulse control, Dobermans have it. They're, they're not biting many people and they're very popular. Um, now they did not make the number one because the number one I have heard more stories about amazing things from clients about the number one, including my neighbor. Okay, the number one breed for protection and human guarding and household guarding and guarding of the kids is a Rottweiler. They got the size, definitely have the size. They have the attitude, they have the impulse control. Rottweilers are on a different level in my opinion. They kind of found the perfect guarding dog. My neighbor had a story. The grandfather got like a little mad at the kids, right? Grandfather lives out of town. Got like a little mad at the kids, nothing even that bad. Rottweiler put his paws up, pinned him up against the wall and just looked at him. That's on another level. That's the impulse control, but that's the, the um, assertiveness that you want. I heard a, another story exactly like that from a client. I've never stirred, heard stories quite like that with these other breeds. That's, I've heard two of them like that, and maybe more that are similar to that, I can't remember. That's on a different level, okay? Rot, and they have the look. Rottweilers definitely have the look, right? Anytime you have that black with that tan there's some, in the chest and on the face, like a Doberman or Rottweiler, it's on a different level of looks. Who's gonna break into a house with a, with a 90 pound Rottweiler? Who's gonna break in the house with a 90 pound any of these? You'd be insane, be a crazy person, okay? But then Rotties have that control, um, that impulse control, and they're a popular breed. All right, that is my list. Here's your honorable mentions, okay? And I'm sure I missed some guys. By the way, comment 
tell me, don't you, you can say the dog's name in the comment if you want, but tell me why. Like give a little something on why you think, or just say the dog name, I don't really care. Honorable mention, ready? American Bulldogs. We almost got Amer an American Bulldog. Before we got Bosco, our first dog, we were looking at American Bulldogs. They have the look, um, impulse control, maybe not as much as some of the, uh, these other guys. Relatively popular dog, okay? And Ridgeback. Ridgebacks, they're big enough, certainly big enough. They have a, 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 a presence about them but you know, as far as actual guarding goes, actual biting somebody that needs to be bit, yeah, I don't know if they, if they have it in them as much as the other breeds. By the way, guys, there are dogs that will do what needs to be done in the right situation, okay? But most of any of these dogs, you need to condition them to do what needs to be done, okay? And like I tell my clients a lot of times, I'm like, you have a 90 pound Rottweiler. You don't need to condition your dog to do what needs to be done. Someone would be insane to go anywhere near you with your dog. 90 pound Rottweiler is on a different level. That's 20 pounds bigger than my dog, okay? But you do have to condition them and how you do that a little bit like with my dogs, I'm like, what was that? And I perk up and I get kind of big and I'm like, I, nothing's going on. I just want to condition them to read my body language. And I'm like, what is that Prince? What is that? And Prince perks up and he looks and I haven't done something in back alleys or set it up where someone comes around the corner who looks creepy and I, but what if I did, I tighten up on that leash, I'd kind of shake a little bit, like conditioning them, I set this up, shake a little bit, kind of avoid the person and my dog and, you can do this with your dog, hopefully like perks up and kind of looks at the person. And then when you're walking by someone nice, you're chill, you're chill as a cucumber, talking to your dog, everything changes when you see creepy person, okay? That's different than like coming in the house stuff that would need to be set up and whatnot. So that's my list, top five guarding breeds. I wanna hear your list, subscribe to the channel, like and comment.